This is my humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
The scripture reading has been read. Uh, we now go into the sermon. For the benefit of remembering, the sermon title is entitled Shoot. Shoot. The Bible says Elisha was sick of the sickness whereof he died. The text does not waste time to teach us. It quickly reminds us that even Elisha's can get sick. It does not matter if you are a prophet and that you have performed many miracles, that you are an ordained pastor or an elder, you too can get sick and die. You can get sick, and you can get sick to the extent that you die. Life is not fair, because no matter how useful you are, you still end up dying. There are some who are tempted to think when they suffered from COVID-19 that God had left them. And they were saying, why me? And maybe there's something wrong with me. What did I do wrong? But the Bible is telling us holy people Prophets of God, like Elisha, can get sick also and die. Just because you are sick, it does not mean God is not with you. Amen. Just because you've been diagnosed with diabetes and cancer, it does not mean God has left you. Because holy people like Elisha also got sick and also died. The text shows us that no matter how useful you are, you can still end up sick and dying. In fact, Jesus is very near. Don't doubt. Don't quit. Don't let go. You can still be near God and sick. 
Because even the Elishas in life get sick. The king, Joash, hears of the sickness of Elisha. And he comes crying to Elisha. He says, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof, referring to a man, he begins to name weapons of warfare. Chariots and horsemen. These were the destroyers and the tankers in the day. These were the machineries and the artilleries that they used in war. If an army had chariots, if an army had horsemen, then it was a strong army. And now that Elisha is sick, the king is crying, oh, the chariots of Israel, the horsemen thereof. Perhaps the question today is, mm-hmm. shall they cry and say the chariots of Israel? Sangal Richardson, what are we going to do? What's going to happen to the church? We have lost a mighty lieutenant in the army of the Lord. Oh, uh, life goes on, nothing changes. Are you making a difference in the mission? When Elisha was on his deathbed, the king is crying, but he's not crying for Elisha. The truth is, the king does not really care about Elisha. What he cares about is losing his protection. He is losing his army, his military power, Elisha. And this is what he's worried about. Elisha, understanding this, now does something that the elderly here need to learn to do. Elisha is 90 when this is going on. And uh, as the young man, the young king is panicking about what's going to happen to Israel, Elisha begins to inspire the young king. The duty of the elders today is to inspire the young ones now. The duty of the elders today is to inspire the young ones now. Not to discourage them, but to inspire them so that they can go forward in victory. Now understand that people usually say the most important things when they're about to die. Elisha is about to die. Kanawa wangu nakufa, au weste te mshitaura nyai asa neo ne ye bora ye. No, you talk about important things. Amen. And uh, and so Elisha says to the king Joash, I want to give you the key. I want to give you the key. The secret on how you can be successful and win. We too shall learn the secret of victory and success. Bring your ears closer, my friends. Because we are about to listen to a prophet's words on his dying bed. King Webaduze what you need. Number one, take up a bow and arrow. King, listen very carefully. Right here in Rusape, 
Right here in Chuare. Listen very carefully. What you will need is a bow and arrow. Apart the cell phone. Apart the God. Yes. Apart the bow and arrow. Yes. Because bow and arrow. Are instruments of war. King, unafanya kunzuisa. Kuti tiri ba hondo. You will need a bow and arrow. Mambo. Habadi mu gota apa. Habadi na toys banda zombo za hondo. Wow, bow and arrow is what you need. Tere kani wemtendi. Hatis kuta zeku tamba panaba. We are battling against. Not flesh and blood. We are at war against principalities and powers. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. You will need bow and arrow. You will need war mentality. You will need to say that Pinda Mugiare Hondo if you are to succeed in the Christian life. Christian life is not a sport, it is not a soccer match, it is war. We are at war against the devil. And all kinds of things. This is war. You will need a bow and arrow. Put aside king. You don't need. You need warfare. Mentality. Pindamu Gere Hondo. Yes. Take a bow and arrow. Then he took up bow and arrow. And now uh, the old man now puts his hand on top of the king's hand. Uh, you see the old man, the prophet, is a type of Christ. And so he's now showing us that if you are to succeed, take a bow and arrow. Right. Shoot. Before you shoot, Elisha otora mawako ake. Oiswa pa musoro pe mawako a king. So that human effort and divine power now combined together will pull back and shoot. If you want to succeed in life, the secret to life is this. Human effort plus divine power equals to true success. Human effort plus divine power equals to true success. Cannot marriage yako ibudurire. The secret is this one here. Human effort plus divine power equals true success. Cannot yako pass my exam. The secret is this one here. Human effort plus divine power equals to true success. I will go in mission. The secret is this. Human effort plus divine power in partnership. Success is inevitable. Victory is certain. Human effort plus divine power equals to true success. Take up a bow and arrow. And so he took up a bow and arrow. And the uh, uh, prophet put his hand on top of the king's hand. This king was a sinner. He was not very, uh, he was not a very obedient king. But Elisha is willing to partner with a sinner. 
I want to say to you today, even if you think you are not perfect, God is still willing to partner with you today and give you victory in your life. Even when you are a sinner, Elisha does not shun him but Elisha says, I will put my hand on top of your hand and give you power that you don't have so that you can shoot the arrow. Listen very carefully. I like this king because he is an obedient king. Anzi, take a bow and arrow I like him, he's obedient. Then he's told to do something else. He's told to shoot. And he shoots. Ah! He's told to shoot. And he shoots. Nikayedu, yatiriku garaine. Yatiriku rasikirwa, it is short of men who shoot. They talk about shooting. They discuss about shooting. But they discuss and talk about shooting. But very few ever shoot. Always threatening to shoot. Yes. But because of COVID and also charter, But because they disturbance, so they also not fura. They are a business. They are fura. The company can also But as also not and also tanga. Always discussing strategy. But I was it. But I'm not fura. That's why evangelism. As I was them door to door. But no zero to say to us say. Can I not go zero to? You can name. Always talking, no action. Shoot! Shoot! We are tired of people who talk about shooting, discussing about shooting. Kuto gala business meeting kuto wato shoot a say. I say a plan a ku shoot ku agur kuit. Ma plan a ripo ma paper. But no follow through on the shooting. I like this king. He shot. God's looking for people who don't just talk, but who shoot. Men and women of action. People who do what the Lord requires. As he is about to let go, uh, the prophet puts him on pause and says, wait, wait, wait. Open the window eastward. Open the window eastward. And he opens it. Because if you shoot when the window is closed, if you shoot when the window is closed, the arrow backfires on you. <laughs> if you shoot when the window is closed, you, you, you miss the target. There's something that you must do that you can do. In any Elisha, and this is the window. It's fine. But you have power to open the window. Saka, now I am telling you, open the window eastward. Ah, Panao Elder, listen here. That is zoning apply it and jimbo kuchikoro. Apply a way. Now he won't look for a job for you. He will do not to me application here, Basa. Ah, come on now, open the window. Uh, one of our girl counseling held. Pastor, my marriage, pray for my marriage. 
Before we pray for your marriage, open the window. It has a lot of consequences. Zima can number him for Mago. Delete that number before we pray for your marriage. Delete that number, your small house. Can I get to Saturn and I was Saturn and I was not us? Hello? If your husband says, don't talk to him, then delete the number. If your wife says she's not good for you, delete her number. Mazoya, kuna pasta rimao, mati pasta, tina matirei, mchato wedu, watu mbo delete her number. Open the window. Not any window. Eastward. Because enemy haisi ku west. Iri ku east. Usango pure is not direction. Hello? Direction. It's needed. They complain. And they say, ah. Uh, our wives don't want to listen to us and follow us. Uh, how can they follow you when you have no direction? Hello? Uh, are you here? But can a man go to the west, choose the work and go north, Wednesday, work and go south, to tear a tender coupe? Direction. Naswa for a tax shop, Mangwana wani chigayo, wasia the tax shop, wasia chigayo waku eight time, wa wada kwenda solusi kuchifundi se, wasia fiti chifundi se chacho, wa cross border. Direction. Tatera se. Direction. Open the window. Not any window. Eastward. Kuna inyaya. And aim for a target. Then shoot the arrow. And you will succeed. He lets go. And the pronouncement is made. The arrow of the Lord's deliverance. Dindapur. Ah. But it's the Lord's deliverance. I am the one holding the bow and arrow. Yeah. I want you to know. It's not your victory. It's not you who has brought success. Come on, take a good drive. I'm going to teach you over. How should you when you go to the education? It's the arrow of the Lord's deliverance. Quickly, you must see. Quickly, you must understand God's intention in this story. Elisha explains that with these arrows, he shall strike the enemy until they have utterly consumed it. This is what God wants. That the enemy be utterly consumed. Ah, I like this king. He did it. I thought the story was finished. And I was closing my Bible and going to sit down. But then I heard Elisha speaking again. Take up bow and arrow again. Shoot. Again. Shoot. And he shot. And according to the story, he shot three times and he stayed. And Elisha, the holy man, the holy man who was angry with the king. But why? Why is Pastor Elisha angry? So why is it that Mfundisi Elisha is now angry? You must understand that it's not enough 
to shoot one. You must take the bow and arrow again. Hello? <laughs> Let me tell you about my church. In my church, they are good at the first arrow. Hello? But one arrow does not win the battle. Yes, the first arrow does not win the war. The first arrow declares kuti wondo yatotanga. Saka iwewe kana waifungwa kuti nekuti wapfura wakutanga musewe wawina. Ongo waka iras. Wato declare wo. Poi fungwa kuti ndababatiz kwa ndashu pedza. Aiwa unos pedza wato zitanga manj. You've now declared wo. One arrow is not enough. And the tanga business. So what? Hello? Hello. business magawanda. But money is not in starting the business. Hey, are you here? Money is in what comes after you started the business and you continue to work in the business until the business is successful. Well done, it's good, isn't it? But it's not the battle one. Now you have started. Hello? Are you here? It's so funny. That people think one arrow can win. And state effort. <laughs> My church, it's good at baptizing people, but poor at follow up. Follow up arrows are needed. Then now you must follow up. Not only shoot the first arrow with an effort, follow up arrows are needed. Because we did not follow them up, we shot one arrow and we left it alone. That follow up arrows are needed. Mumuchato, Mumuchato, follow up arrows are needed. My chocolate, ha, gumire, pa, I do, I do. Panoda ma follow up chocolates. Hello? Muripe, resangano. How fun a gumira no ti machata. After machata, we still want to hear the sweet I love you. Follow up, I love you. Follow up, you no kuda. Ndagakuza, while I was courting you. Let's continue with more arrows. Shoot, 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 keep on shooting. After Mabuda Church, keep on feeding each other. More arrows, shoot. Follow up arrows, please. <laughs> Don't just shoot one arrow. Shoot, follow up arrows. After you started the business, you must maintain the business and develop the business and keep going and keep shooting. But Elisha is not happy because the king had shot only three times. He said, you, 
time did you only shoot? Three times. Three times only. You should have shot five or six times. Then you'll have utterly destroyed the enemy. But three times. The problem today. Three time shooters only. Hello? Are you here? Three time shooters. Anzi, Anzi. My husband is cheating on me. And I ask how many times? Just once. You're not serious. This is war. You will need to shoot once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times. Shoot and 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 shoot don't stop shooting which is fire and shoot which is run the business and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot which is war which is so broke because a just man fall at seven times but he rises again shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot don't stop shooting shoot Three times only. You only three times and you are moody and you don't want any more. That's why Elisha is not happy. Three times only. Then you've stopped. What's wrong with you? In our church, they give up too soon. I have no time to tell you how many times Mrs. Timuri rejected me, but I kept on shooting. Until victory was mine. Because you keep on shooting. Kept meeting 2023, which is shooter. 2024, which is shooter. 25, 26, 26. And you keep on shooting. Don't stop shooting. You are giving up too early. You should have shot five or six times. Five, six times. Because God wants you to have a full victory. Not half victory. You can't just overcome half of them. You have to overcome all of them. I'm happy. Could you are no longer drinking? But it's not enough. I'm happy that you don't lie anymore. <laughs> but it's not enough. You will have to keep on shooting and stop the adultery. And stop the moodiness. And stop the hatred. And stop the pride. And go after each and every sin in the name of Jesus until victory is yours. Keep on shooting. There are people who think, ah, now we get a sabbat, I'm now okay. No. It's not enough. You will have to keep on shooting until Jesus comes again. But why? Why? Did the king stop shooting? Those who write say, uh, there are probably many reasons why. But Elisha was really upset. 
Because the king had a great opportunity, but he did it with so little zeal. Great opportunity, so little zeal. Great opportunity. health message. Great opportunity. But it's so little zeal. So little zeal. Great opportunity. Disease. Great opportunity. But we are not using the great opportunity. We are criticizing it. Great opportunity. But so little zeal. This is why Elisha was upset. Because here was a big chance. But the zeal was so little. You see, we must understand that uh, there should have been reasons. There should have been reasons. There were reasons why he shot only three times. He shot not because he believed the prophet, but because he respected the old man. But deep down, deep down, deep down, deep down, elder, Yes. I don't believe it. Deep down, ah, bow and arrow for what? But it says, I'm go fire and he's an old man. Let me just follow what he says. So, one, two, three. No, get us I don't really believe it. Pastor Baningwachi, come forward. We are about to pray. Your life will never be the same. I don't really believe it. But I don't really believe it. That's why I didn't really wake up and Rakusumkandine Jinja and Jimaya going to I don't really believe it. That's almost it. How no to make a blast and I pass an echirungu. That's why I went up there, but I don't really believe it. The prof young man shot not because he believed in the victory, but because he respected the prophet. <laughs> That's why. He shot only three times. Do you see how we touch now? Power, Pastor Rima. No, we are more power. As we tend, we run away. We are not going to announce. I suppose our fundis. And so they don't get the victory. That's why Elisha is not happy. But maybe, maybe, elder. He was not in the mood. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to shoot six times. Hello? Hello, Sangan. Hello? Because sometimes you are not in the mood to go to church. Hello? Nobody said heaven is cheap. Jesus paid it all with his blood and the silver of his tears. It is not easy, I know. It's not an easy road. But you keep shooting even when it's painful. It's painful. But you are sitting here it's painful, but you don't give up. It's painful, but you keep shooting. Maybe he didn't shoot because it was boring and monotonous. One direction in the ground, three times. To the right. But one direction to the ground three times, it's now boring, says the youth. Hmm. 
Church, actually, it's always the same Sabbath school divine service. Sabbath school divine service. Sabbath school divine service. Sabbath school divine service. Zaku boa. Cheros ji boa. Keep on shooting. Hello? I have a friend who goes to the gym. He's got big muscles. And, and he said to me, Pastor, the secret to building my muscles is repetition. Repetition. Same one, over and over again. As I get stronger and stronger. Repetition. Repetition. Monotony. Repetition. 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 I get stronger. I'm bulking up. Repetition. Repetition brings power. Repeat it. Keep shooting. No matter how boring it is. Keep shooting. No matter how hard it is. Keep shooting. Youth, are you here? Musa nyengerwe. Makundi sangana renyuru no boa. Richi boa kudaro. Rambao chitera chokwadi. Keep shooting. Don't be excited by the discos in other churches. Because kuno kwatina kuira entertainment. Takawia for salvation. And so you keep shooting. Because no matter how difficult and boring it is, Cherosita does not take a makeup. It's okay. I keep shooting. Passing a lipstick. I keep shooting. This is not taking my mini. I keep shooting. Dressing decently. I keep shooting. As I have my eye on the kingdom of God. Elisha. Elisha was not happy because mankind has a habit of bad stopping. Stopping when you are not supposed to stop. Don't stop. You were thinking of ending your life. Don't stop. It's a bad stop. Don't quit now. Keep on shooting. I must close. God's intentions. God wanted them to enjoy total victory. There was no two ways about it. As he shot the arrows, the pronunciation is made, the honor of the Lord's deliverance. Thou shalt strike until you have consumed them. This is what God wants. Total victory. He wants you to be healed fully. Holy, holistically, totally, not halfway. Have a half success. God's ideal is for total victory. Total victory. Why? Problem they are married condemn because according to the text, total victory, totally full healing. Where's the problem? Could say which we are camp meeting after camp meeting, but only having half an answered prayer. Sometimes. Where's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Is God not good? Is God not willing? 
Aiwa, mwari marukuda. Tota victory for you. Mwari marukuda. Kuti ukwanze kusia fojka. Zamcho se nomo cigarette. God wants you to leave alcohol once and for all. Shave rekuba repere once and for all. Shave rekubwe repere once and for all. So how come now it keeps on happening? Let me tell you the secret. To the degree that you. Uh -huh. That you respond to what God wants is to the degree that God does it. Ha. One more time. The response you give determines the answer you get. You can respond to three arrows. Then you will get three arrows miracle. If you respond with six, then you will get six answer to your prayer. It's like a problem has Jehovah. Problem in Diwe ne mindro yaku. Ah, I must go to believe and it. Mark chapter seven, twenty-eight to twenty-nine. Topeds. Mark chapter 7, 28 to 29. It is the story of the Syrophenian woman. The woman comes to Jesus because her daughter is vexed with the devil. She's following Jesus. And the disciples chase her away. She, she cries after us. But she keeps crying after him. Then Jesus says to her, finally, it's not good for me to take the children's food and give it to the dogs. In other words, Jesus is calling her a dog. Shinzwa manji reply again. Even the dogs, Lord. I got to the truth, Lord. It's okay. I didn't do it. I didn't. Can I not do it? I didn't do it. 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 I Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's hear her answer. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Nekuda kwe shoko e reply ya wanti pai mira elda nekuda kwe shoko e because of your reply the English says for such a word as this one here the NIV ne makai e reply ya wanti pa chaso change as you know e response ya cho response ya wanti pa na kaska ya ku kumbarera but pa wazo vuma maji pa wati wangu wakati choro imbwa zino kutora mafufu ano kunda lofurese relo bills reply yako reply let's see read it on akati kwa hari no kuna kwe choko ilo enda Thank you, Elder. What changed things for this woman? The reply that she gave. It was a reply that was not halfway. A reply that would not accept no for an answer. A reply that had total trust yeah, in God. Until Jesus said, ha, 
for such a reply. According to your reply, go your way. The devil has left your daughter. Somebody must change their reply tonight. Somebody must say, I am not shooting three times only. I will shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and I'll keep on shooting. I won't stop shooting until Jesus comes again. I will keep on shooting. I've changed my reply. I've changed my reply. Murumen dewangu na chinja reply. Mkazi dewangu and this kuzo teaser wanan dewangu. I am changing my reply. I am changing my reply. And so tonight, is there somebody here? He's saying, ah, pastor, I can hear God speaking. I can hear God speaking. I can't hear Timuri anymore. I am now hearing God speaking. And in the past, I've given the wrong reply. In the past, I have given the wrong reply. But today, I am giving a reply of faith. Even the dogs eat of the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Is there somebody here? Are you saying, Pastor, I'm coming? Before you pray, I'm coming up front there. I've already changed my reply. If you're there, come forward, we're going to pray together. Apane mwenzira, apane mwenzira ama yangu kunze, kukungo zuunza, wakadaro kuna jesu. Mukunzi wakwese kwa waita, nzewe yako, chigumwe chako, chimunwe chako, gachi zozgwe, nero para jesu. Apadi ro pare mbuza, ro pare muru, haricha kwani. Pari kuda ropa. Remo na komana. Jesu Kristu. Rino chenesa. Ajne kutune chite machipi. Chezi taripi. Ropa ra Jesu. Rino chenesa. Mando zese. Zesu hivu. Mukano andri kukupa. Isha wachi kufumira. Oramba ere wakadaro. Iye Jesu wakarembira pa mchinjiku. Aunga imbi ere. Semu imbi. Hakuna chime chunu. Kunze kwa maropa ajesu. Na matane ni panguwa eno. Uche zipira kuna ishe. Baba we nyasha. Dae wanga osiri mchinji kwa tisipano. Maka zika kutitikwirire. Maka nyaziskwa kutitifukizirwe. Maka shorwa kutitirumbizwe. Maka afa kutitirarame. Ono munu wenyu pamangwa na nano. Arikuti atina imu enzira. Tambo zama. Vamo waka zama ni matombo. Asi waka sara waka umamoyo. Omo waka zama ni mvura zemu na mato. Asi waka sara wasi na chiro. Mangwana na ano tinuna mata. Ropa renyu ngari saskwe pahana zedu. Tive pano tichiti hakuna chimwe kunze kwa ropa la jesu. Kana mari sasa munzira za tinofamba. Diaboros uja shayi wa simba. Sumuziru wa ibaba. Isungati ziki sirwe. Musara baba. Nere mwana koman, nere mwana mtrene. Amen. God bless you. Onesi ati, hauna masimba, rinda una mate, dino kupa jese.
sechero andi nakuna ka kunga di watiti guo yangu ndoke zamro Oh, no. 